In this video, we are going to create an expert advisor entry signal for this little oscillator here. It is called the relative strength index and it's very popular. So let's find out how we can do that with MQL5. In this video, we'll make an expert advisor to make an entry signal for this RSI oscillator. It's the oscillator for the relative strength index. So let's see how MQL5 can help us do that. The RSI oscillator is drawn in a separate window below the candle chart. It only has one line, which will be our entry signal. Most of the time, oscillators are used to make filters, but they can also be used to make entry signals, which is what we will do here. To use it, we make a separate MQ5 file and put it in the same directory as the other Platin system files. Check entry rsi.mq5 is the name of the file, and it only has one function called check entry. It will calculate what our entry signal is and send that result back to the main module. We want to make a string variable for the signal file, but we won't give it a value yet because it will be worked out later. So, we build a double type array to hold the different prices. In the next step, we'll use the function irsi, which is part of the MQL5 programming language. And we can use it to define our oscillator. Four parameters need to be passed. The first parameter is the symbol on the chart that is selected at the moment. The second parameter is the time range we've chosen on that chart. The third parameter is for the number of candles that we want to calculate. In our case we use 14 candles. The fourth parameter is used to define what we want to use for the result. In our case we calculate it for the close price. The next step is to sort our array by using array set as series. We want to put it in order from the current candle down. And now, thanks to copy buffer, we can fill the price array with the data for the prices. The first parameter is for the definition we made above. Parameter 2 is for the first buffer, which is the oscillator's signal line. Candle 0 is used for parameter 3, which is the number of the current candle. The number of candles we want to use in the calculation is the fourth parameter. We use three candles. And the price array is the last parameter. This is where we want to store these values. We only need to look at the value for candle 0 in our price array to find the value for the current candle. With normalized double and the number 2 we can create a number with two digits. If that number is greater than 70, we call that a sell signal and put the word sell into our signal. If it is below 30, however, we give our signal the word buy. Lastly, we use the return function to send the calculated value back to our main module. Don't forget to save the file, please. You don't have to compile it. Just save it and go back to the main module, where the ontick function is included. There, you need to add the new file to the import section. You can do this by using the include statement. Please uncomment any other entry signals and press F7 or click the compile button to compile the main module and the new entry file you just made. Okay, I hope the compilation process worked for you. If that is the case, you should have a working version for the RSI that you can use to create signals or you can use it as a filter. For now I say thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.